Hey everybody, it's Racker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 2. Today we're going to be heading down to the castle cellar where Wario had his treasure stolen from. And right at the start of the stage, we get introduced to Flat Wario. Flat Wario is useful for traveling large distances laterally and fitting into small areas. There are places where you will need to use him. And he gets used quite a bit in the basement. Besides hitting water, if you run into one of those bats that is not carrying a... Not run into, but if you let one of the bats that is not carrying a weight pick you up then uh, that'll cure your flatness. Now this secret up here is actually something I did not find my first time playing the game. Or my second time playing the game, as a matter of fact. Uh, I think it was my third that I first found it on. It took me... 20... I've beaten this game, I want to say, about 20 times. And this is the first instance where you'll need Flat Wario to get a handful of coins. No way you're going to fit in there as your normal self. Now, unless you know where the secret passages are in this stage, scrounging up coins can be difficult to get to, uh, to be able to get the 200. Also, be careful how you break these blocks because there is a secret up here. Uh, it's quite a bit. I think it's about 60 coins. Honestly, I think that uh, old video games are a marvel in how efficiently they're coded. Especially uh, Game Boy and NES games. Now, there should be... A secret path back around here. Yeah, there is. Now these gaps that have coins... That, these gaps in the coins uh, have invisible doorways that will take you to hidden treasure rooms. There are two of them down here. One of the reasons that I'm concerned about finding... That I might miss some areas is that I cannot find complete maps of this game. All the major sites that I use for video game maps does... Uh, they do not have complete maps of this game. They have maps for this world and uh, another, and one other one. And I found one other world, but I haven't found near as much as I'd like. Now that star door there marks the end of the stage, since we don't have a specific goal here. And I actually screwed this up. Not a big deal, though. What I need to do is I need to land in the... in the, uh... I need to float into that gap in the... in the wall. Because that's where the treasure chest is. Also, as Flat Wario, and just in your for and just in forms in general, if you hold... If you hold up, and even as your normal self it'll work, if you hold up when you jump, you'll gain one extra block of height. Wow, I'm bad. Or not. Maybe I should do more of these on easy to make sure I get them. I'll probably play more of these on easy as soon as I have a decent coin bank. I want to tr I want to try to jump on that bat without him grabbing me because I'll lose a couple of coins that way. Cool, got up there. Uh, that's actually not that easy to do. And that right there is another secret that I missed my first time through the game. That was actually a pretty quick stage. I wonder if maybe I should have put stage 3 along with this video. 
Anyway, let's move on to the bonus game. These are pretty easy once you know the patterns, but it's just playing the game the first time, it can be a little difficult to train your brain not to jump the gun on a solution. Uh... Can this be anything other than a four? Because the only blocks that have corner... One, three, seven... Yeah, this has to be a four. Now I've got a good coin bank, so... So I may be able to start playing more treasure games on easy, so I don't have to repeat them. Uh, I'm... Depending on how many coins I have in this stage, I don't think there's that many, so I'll probably just do medium. Uh, boss stages like this one. The fifth stage of every world is a boss stage. So it involves you finding the boss's room, fighting the boss... And one thing you may be wondering is how bosses work in this game if you can't die. Well, you'll see. I believe you can... I believe you can transform into Zombie Wario here, but it's never necessary. Uh, Zombie Wario gets used a lot more in, uh... in a later part of the game. I want to say Zombie Wario gets used in World 5. Now you may have caught a glimpse of the area where the treasure chest is in. Unfortunately, the treasure chest in this stage is in the first room, so you don't have a lot of time to collect coins. Yeah, it's right here. I'm... I'm going to go in this room and collect the coins first. That skull door marks the location of the boss, but I don't want to fight the boss yet because I don't have enough... I don't have the treasure yet. And there's lots of coins here, so it should give me a good buffer. Oh, that's very helpful. Uh, matter of fact... Nope. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, matter of fact, since I got that, uh, that shiny coin to drop, I might just demonstrate hard on this stage. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Because then I can just go to my other one if I need to, because I have so much money. Okay, eight frames. Let's see if I can get this. Probably not, because that lock is tough. Yeah, there was no way I was getting that. It's really tight. Now, there are times when the treasure chest is located so early in the stage that you're going to need to use hard or normal. Easy gives you enough time for pretty much anyone to get it. Although I will admit I failed on Easy a couple of times in my first playthrough. Because I didn't have a method for it. You pretty much need... You almost need to stare at the screen cross-eyed. Alright. That should do it. We have the treasure, we have a decent amount of money, let's go fight the giant snake. Uh, one thing that's very helpful in fighting the giant snake is holding up. Now, if he grabs you in his fangs, he will throw you upwards, uh, and you'll have, to start, you'll have to start the boss fight over. And he's dead. Yeah, the bosses in this game, for the most part, are easy. There's one or two that are annoying, but... They're fairly easy. I don't know how many of the treasures from Wario Land repeat in this game. I think the one we just got is one that repeats. Uh, 1-7. Still 1-7. I need one of... I need one of the... Okay, 7. Good. 
spent a little bit more money than I'd like, but I can't help it, it's random. So that's the first world cleared. Five out of fifty stages done. But where did Captain Syrup and the pirates go? third guy really needs to shape up. Alright, now Wario's on their tail. Honestly, I'm not quite sure why Wario cares about that hen, but we have to return the hen to her nest. And we're going to start that on World 2 of Let's Play Wario Land 2 next time.